Hey, Adrian here from PyImageSearch.com, and today I'm going to show you a simple example of using command line arguments with the PyCharm IDE. So as you can see on my desktop here, I have a PyImageSearch directory, and if we open it up, we have the command line arguments, which you can download um, from the PyImageSearch blog using the download section of this post. And then we're just going to drag and drop it down here into the uh, PyCharm IDE. So we'll give a second for PyCharm to load up. And uh, once it does, you'll see that we have our input images and our example Python scripts. So the first thing we'll do here is we'll need to go to run and edit configurations. This is where we create our configuration to run the uh, Python script with our interpreter and our command line arguments. So let's give this configuration a name. We'll call it Adrian. And we'll select the script that we're going to execute navigate to the command line arguments directory and select simple example.py and we'll also supply our script parameters here the the name switch will be adrian again the name switch is entirely configurable and we'll select our python interpreter python uh, 2.7.10 is fine for this if you're using a virtual environment you'll want to select that there as well um, so now that we have our settings uh, created, we'll hit apply and we'll create another uh, another configuration. We'll just duplicate our current one, give it a uh, give it a separate name. This one we'll call Stephanie. We'll call it Stephanie because we'll be changing the script parameters uh, and the name switch will now be Stephanie. So we'll hit apply and OK. Now let's go ahead and run this script. We'll select run. And then we can either run the Adrian or Stephanie configuration. We'll start with Adrian. And there you can see at the bottom, it says, hi there, Adrian. It's nice to meet you. We can also do the same thing again, only this time we'll select the uh, Stephanie configuration. And there you'll see that the name has changed from Adrian uh, to Stephanie just by changing the command line arguments. So there you have it. In our next example, we will be looking at a more advanced usage of command line arguments specifically for computer vision.